Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. We are here working on the goat shelter and chicken coop, part number seven or eight or nine or something like that. <laughs> and uh, today we're gonna do something that should be a lot of fun, a very important step of this whole build, which is building the custom trusses for the roof. And so I'll show you what, uh, what the plan is, what I'm thinking so far, and then I'll, I'll, we'll go through and uh, we'll get these built. So there are lots of different ways to build a truss. Uh, the bigger the trusses, the larger the span from here to here, the more important the structural integrity of it is because you have more weight wanting to push these trusses apart. You have weight that's pushing down snow load and other things, the weight of the roofing and wood pushing down on the top of it. And th that's gonna want to spread these, uh, these supports apart. And so uh, basically the idea is that we need to string these together uh, the two the two side pieces and we need to, to firm this whole thing up so that it's uh, strong enough to hold the load of the snow we have here in Michigan but what I'm gonna do is kind of a modified um, attic type design and so uh, it'll be something like this we'll, we'll cut these off here um, there and I'll probably put a small little triangle up there and then these will all be kind of laminated together with uh, pieces of plywood and OSB and scraps that I have around. Uh, you saw at the beginning there I just kind of held the the truss in place and uh, kind of got a general idea of my angle and then I cut both of these pieces at that same that same angle those will marry together to, to create the peak and then my cutoffs these uh, pieces right here on each side that's the cutoff from the end of the two by fours they will make my uh, whatever you want to call these supports here that are going to go down and then we'll have a longer two by four that'll connect from here all the way across. So that is going to allow us to have this kind of open attic space above the uh, chicken coop and it will also allow us to have all this extra space underneath here. So normally with a, tr a regular truss style you would connect from the bottom here straight across to the bottom here but that makes the, the roof of the coop really low. So we, I wanna get that extra space in there. And so that's why we're gonna do, uh, do it this way. So, so the dimensions of this, um, probably similar to a shed or something, it's uh, eight feet, uh, just about eight feet, a little bit less than eight feet uh, long that way and about six feet wide this way. And so the roof will, will have a decent peak on it and it'll have a little overhang on the edges here to keep some rain and snow off of the, the door of the, uh, of the coop which will be right between those, those two uh, uh, spaces right there, that space right there. And then we'll put an access to the attic probably on the backside that uh, is a little shorter of a distance, the way that the ground is sloped here. This is a much taller uh, spot. And then we can just put a ladder up to it and get things in and out of the, uh, the attic. Well, this is what I think I'm gonna go with. And uh, the reason is I changed it up a little bit, just moved some things closer together because I have a bunch of these, these uh, black uh, painted two by fours that I got as scrap. And that is exactly how the longest I can cut it. <laughs> so in order to get four total trusses, which is what I want, I've got to use these ones with uh, you just using the scrap wood that I have around here. So. So all I need to do now is just make a copy of this. So I'm just gonna take these in and uh, make enough for four total trusses. So we've got a lot of cutting to do and then we'll get these tied all together, make them nice and strong.
Is it warm? Nope, it's very cold. Because So I ran out of supplies for today and yeah, I'm getting close to running out of daylight but I've got to get some more of these these one by fours it's just a little bit more than eight feet it's like eight feet three inches so I got to get ten footers so this is where an eight footer comes with the overhang and so I'll just uh, I'll put one below it right here that extends out what I call a handshake I've heard it called that before where you'll put one stringer just run it out and leave it and then you put another one right below it from this you know leave it hang over a little bit here and then run it out and let it extend over just right below that one so that way you don't have to have a, a seam like I did up there at the top so it just is a, is a little bit easier so I'll need a, a few more 10 foot 1x4s and I've got this little uh little tray I'm building up here just some scrap uh, leftover half inch plywood from the floor this is actually the cutoffs from the floor but I was a little short on this too so we'll get a little bit more and, and just put it on on the top and I may actually extend the side of it you know all the way up to the top there they're still going to get some dust and stuff like that from the chicken coop because there'll be a spot between the rafters and the ceiling or the roof and so they'll get a little dust up there but that's just going to be for storage for things if I go do a solar thing in here, I might put like a battery or inverter or something like that up at the top and I can put other extra chicken items, chicken feeders and waters and things like that up there. Got the hen gear nesting box and somebody mentioned uh, maybe having this more secure. Uh, if, a, if a predator come in here, they could, you know, get, get into this. It's just magnetically attached and I think that's a good point. So we may have to make some kind of like a little little eye hook or a little latch here that can uh, secure this a little bit better make sure predators can't get in in that way so custom trusses turned out pretty good everything looks pretty solid and secure and I mean these things are gonna hold I don't know how much weight you could put on these but it'd be a ton I can jump on top of those things no problem and, it, and they're strong so I think that that turned out uh, turned out pretty good with uh, all the scraps that I had laying around 
all the nails that I used are just nails that I've had, you know, over the years. I'll see them on sale for 99 cents or something at the hardware store and I'll grab a couple, couple packs. Um, I also threw some hurricane ties in here, which I had somebody had given me. Uh, Darren, thank you if you're watching. He gave me all these, these hurricane ties and these are just basically to attach the joist to the, to the wall. Um, all the, the pressure is downward on this thing, so it's not going anywhere, but if you get a gust of wind, or something you know you could you could pull push up on this and that just keeps it from from moving around i also drove some nails in the uh tops of these end ones so there's a pretty good long nail that goes in here and sticks into the wall so that just keeps that secured so the top up here will have a little door that will uh allow us to get into each side of that and i also may put uh i have to put some kind of ventilation in here so i'm either going to put some soffit vents underneath here that would allow airflow to get up and underneath into the coop that way or i may put some kind of a you know vent or something like that in the back side or maybe even in the center of the the door here to allow just the airflow to to, to go through here um, you want to make sure that they have plenty of fresh air so well that's it for today i've got some more supplies to get i'll finish the rest of the uh, supports for the the roofing behind the scenes and the next thing we're gonna be doing is actually putting roofing on and some siding. And we're gonna be pretty close to putting chickens in here after that. So I just have some little things to do, building roofs on the inside and putting a light in there and some other things, uh, some of the fun stuff. But uh, we have an automatic door to put on. We've got, we gotta get some siding to put on there and then we'll put the uh, roofing on. I haven't decided on metal or the uh, asphalt product, the Andura roofing. I have to find a local place to, to get that. Um, our Home Depot stopped carrying it. So stay tuned for more of these chicken coop goat shelter builds. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. As always, don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video. Share the series with those you think might be interested in something like this. It's been a lot of fun building this thing. So of course, if this is your first time here, love to have you subscribe and tag along. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.